The video you're about to see might have to do with music theory. Don't worry, it's way simpler than you think, I promise you. Let me prove it to you with my free music theory DNA course, which is gonna put you on the right path to learning those hard to understand concepts in a super easy and healthy way. Check out guitarinfusion.com, enter your best email address. I'll be sending you that free course right away. But for now, let's get into the video. I think that works. Hi everyone, David Allman here. Today, we're gonna to explore the instrument as we always do in these videos. And we're gonna talk about a key essential component in players' ability to share their story. Without it, anything you play is gonna be dull. It's confidence. We're gonna talk about that right after this. <music> Hi again, David Rollin here. Welcome to this channel, which is all about helping guitar players like you find your voice on your instrument, what makes you, you, and share that with the world musically. This is our instrument. There is nothing really special about this. Stories don't come from this piece of wood. The stories come from inside, and that's what this channel is all about, helping you bring out that unique, beautiful voice that is inside of you through this piece of wood. And confidence has everything to do with how listeners are gonna perceive your message. Just like when I'm doing these videos, if you watch back my original videos like 10 years ago, the confidence was, was not quite there. I'm now comfortable in front of the cameras, but at the time I wasn't. And I think by doing it, I acquired that confidence and not to be confused with arrogance, very different thing, but just being confident that if I mess up, it's okay and I can just think through what I have to say, deliver it, and if I make a mistake, correct it in the videos, and that can be applied, I think, to music. That's what we're gonna explore today. I hope you have a good guitar because these types of lessons are the interactive types where as I'm sharing my thought process, I would love for you to do the same. At the same time, it's really going to help you acquire the, the, the necessary skills to develop what we're developing today. In order to develop that confidence, I think there is an, an element of uncomfortableness that needs to be happening. Is that a word? I don't know. Again, another <laughs> makeup words every single video. But we need to be in a state of mind where we're not feeling super safe because that's going to force us to take decisions that are going to either be good decisions or bad decisions, but at least we'll know. If we stay in a, in a place that is really comfortable, in other words, if you on the guitar, it might look like, like this, right? <laughs> if we stay there, well, what we play might work, but you play that over and over and you're never really developing, you're never really uh, finding new ways to express yourself. So how do we do that? Well, you can, uh, just sign up to uh, an open mic night if you want or um, or audition for you know players who are hired but that's not what we're doing here we're talking about developing that in a, in a setting where you are practicing in your bedroom or wherever you're at and we're not even going to do that with a backing track just ourselves and the guitar so we're going to start somewhere comfortable 
So that's a skill, that's an area of the fretboard you're comfortable with. Not a song, but more of an improv setting. So you need to be somewhat comfortable with improvisation. But let's go back to that A minor pentatonic thing. Okay, we're just improvising with some licks and free form, right? We don't want to be so rigid in the tempo that that's another element that we need to follow. Just kind of free form expressing yourself there. Just notes of the minor pentatonic. And we're just going to take, take a step of faith and we're going to do a quick slide up land somewhere we don't know where it doesn't matter i don't want i don't want you to aim for a note i want you to do the slide and stop on that note and and stay there for a little while now look at where you're landing and really listen does that fit the context of your minor pentatonics here if the answer is yes great continue playing in that zone of the fretboard so if you are asking how do i do that with your ear. Just use your ear, slow things down, ask yourself, what would a note, the, the next note up sound like? Do you want that? One fret higher? If the answer is yes, go there. If the answer is no, maybe two notes higher. So you're kind of gently, slowly, but surely exploring the fretboard in that new area that you landed in. Now, we landed on a note that worked within the context, I think. But let's say now that you landed on a note that didn't work. Ask yourself, does it work or not? And then fix it and make it right. Make it almost like a, an okay note. So how do you do that? Well, maybe you're bending that note half step bending it and at first you know when you're not trained to do that it might take a little while and you're staying on that uncomfortable note for longer than you would like to but eventually by doing this the connection mind fingers is strengthened by doing this kind of thing and eventually you recognize that it's not a good note so you fix it on the spot. You don't even need to look at your fretboard. You kind of making things that it might not be okay, okay, but you're doing that pretty fast. The main thing when you're doing that is to lose yourself and find yourself again. <laughs> Place yourself in the deep, dark forest, completely lost, what's going on, and then make a home for yourself. Musically, it would be that. You just play a note without looking at a fretboard. Play another note somewhere reachable within reach. That gives you context. So you're still lost, but you add another note. Now the context is a little more defined Soon enough, what started with, you don't know where you are, the more notes you add, the more notes you experiment with, you're not lost anymore. It's really, really important to do this kind of work. I know that if you're just watching this video without your guitar in your hand and, and don't, don't take these to heart, Yes, it's a pretty lame lesson, but if you start applying this kind of thing, you're really going to discover new things and you're playing. I, seriously, that's kind of what I do when I practice, and I've seen some, um, some improvements in my playing and my musicality and my um, ability to, ex to express myself a little bit closer to what is inside of me that really, really does help. Music is all about self-discovery. It's all about getting lost and, and finding your way out. That's gonna help you strengthen the, those connections, those mental connections that happen when you are placed in a musical spot that is maybe a little uncomfortable. Maybe when you're jamming with someone or when you have to uh, record uh, a solo for a part and you're under scrutiny because people are watching you or whatever it is or at a gig. 
it's really important to force yourself to, to be placed in those in those spots. So with those exercises where you're playing something comfortable, doing that quick slide, you don't know where you are. You're lost for a few seconds. And then sometimes you get lucky like this. And sometimes you don't. And you fix it. First, it's going to take a while, but, but then it, the connection is really fast, and that's how you can improve. That's what I have for you today. If you want to go a little further, I prepared for you a pack of backing tracks. Those backing tracks are all in the same key. So it's a standard key, and um, they're meant for you to explore. You have charts with the different scales. You can follow those scales, and at some point, when you choose, when you're a little comfortable with one area of the fretboard, get lost over these tracks. The tracks are always going to remind you of where home is and it's your job to find your way back home. Do those quick slides, see where you land. Is it a safe place? Is it a non-safe place? And then try to go back in, discover new things on the instrument. And if this was your first visit on this channel, you should subscribe because every week I have three videos like this one coming out, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, sometimes more. Helping guitar players like you find your voice on the instrument, which is in this case the guitar, but this is just your pencil. The story comes from inside, and these videos help you do that. Thank you for watching this. I'll see you very soon on this channel. Practice well. Practice well.